Hi guys, welcome to another Gyra Gaming TV video. Today we're going to have a look at spin tires. Now I've been messing around with this quite a bit last night and uh, this morning. But unfortunately I lost my save game. Now, I don't know if it was a bug or it was because I accidentally opened up the tech demo and that wiped the, uh, the save game. So I've got rid of the tech demo now, I just have the proper one. So, spin tires, what is it about? It is about uh, bloody big Russian trucks, is basically it. Uh, as you see here, I have um, one of the uh, instruction things open. So, uh, in a minute, I've got a garage carriage. Oh, yeah, that rhymes. Um, this is for opening up these garages. Now, I found a garage, I'll show you in a map over here uh, I've already been there with one lorry and I was trying to unlock all this upper area of the map so I'm basically where I was before I crashed as you see there's two cloaked areas there you've got to drive up to the cloaking point which is right in the middle as soon as you drive over a little threshold bing, it opens up and you see what's going on so uh, in this mode this is the first map that's on here and I'm on casual mode until I get used to these wonky camera uh, things which you'll see in a bit um, so the objective is to get lumber to the objectives. There are a few ways you can do this. There is... With this lorry here, if I take the tractor off, you can have a log cart on. Now with a log cart, you can have a medium trailer attached. Which is that there, as you can see. And then you can have a crane and crane support and all that stuff on as well. Or you can have... Can I get the long one on here? So if I take... Uh, duh, duh, duh. If I take the lock off from the tractor carriage... Camera's gone wonky again. There you go. Try to carriage. You can now have a utility trailer on it. As you see there. Or if you I'm trying to get a decent view here. Too close up to the Let's move this a minute, shall we? Make it easier to see. As long as you're inside this red box, you can change what trailers you have. Now the physics in this are awesome. They really are good. Uh, you see I've got big wheels on at the minute. The default, which is these little thin things. But uh, I like the big wheels, because you can grip. So, we've got a tractor on, what have we got, what have we got? We have a garage trailer, which is basically your normal road regret lorry. There's no way I'm getting that to where I'm going. Um, or you can have a system trailer, which is for fuel. Because obviously you've got to refuel these trucks because you'll use so much fuel at a time. But um, with uh, being on casual, it doesn't use as much. So we'll take the tractor off. You can also have a small system one there, or a carriage for smaller logs. Um, you can get a crane on it with crane support. The crane's actually quite handy to be honest. Um, I'm going to have a play with that later on because they're all loose logs around them. I'm going to try and bridge some of these uh, really khaki water crossings which you'll see in a bit. Okay. So, we've got the carriage carriage on. I've also got a front exhaust, I don't know why I'm going to take it off. You can see the camera positions are a bit janky, so... Now you can change up into high and low gears, uh, but I just leave it automatic when I do it itself. You see the detail is amazing with the wobbling of the carriage and the suspension. 
and around the tyres. Headlights look great. Look really, really well detailed. I suppose it will have to be for the type of game. So, it might sound easy taking logs from point A to point B, but you've got to take it through some really shitty terrain as you're going to see in a minute when we come to here. As you see here, it looks a bit messy, doesn't it? Now, it's all uh, persistent, so whatever ri ridges and rivets you put through this mud, it's going to stay there until you drive through it again. Same with your vehicles. As you see, I've got a vehicle parked here, a couple of parked here. So wherever you park your vehicles, well, actually I discovered that one, they'll persistently stay there. And you can select them whenever you like, and uh, you'll go to them whenever you like. If you want, I'll go uh, select that one. And this is a lorry I discovered in one of the uh, the cloaked zones. Uh. So I'll start the engine on this and show you what it does. So I'm using an Xbox controller for this, it's a lot easier to use the controller to drive with. So if I hit the advanced menu, you'll see you've got extended anchors. Now that is on this vehicle. Control. These bloody big feet you can see in the back here. Now you might wonder why you want those. Well, as you see this has a crane on it. So if I hit that button. Stands a crane, and then I can attach that. You see, it's got a, a winch point onto anything and drag it anywhere if it's destroyed or anything like that. So, plus this has repair points on it. So, if your vehicle's damaged, you can park it next to this and then repair it as well. There's loads of different types of vehicles in this, which is really cool. I always like the map facing the north. Makes it easier for me to navigate. You can also put waypoints on here like that and it'll show you. It's a direct route line, but it'll still show you a waypoint. I mean you look fat. And this is the way the range drove that I use for um, discovering some of these cloak points. Not brilliant because it has only little tyres on it, it can get stuck fairly easily, but you can winch yourself out, and I will show you that in a bit. Now, you see, it has got a bit dark, so some things are hard to see. Chuck on the headlights, and the cool thing is, it actually fades everything around you, so you're, it's as if your eyes are adjusting to the light. That's handy at night if you want to go through water. Top tip for you if you want to go through water like here, if you stick your headlights on at night, you'll be able to see where the bottom is more or less. Uh, see how deep it is, very very handy at night. Uh, daylight, still a pain in the arse to cross, but yeah. For winching, uh, start the engine. See you get these winch points. Now, I'm not in my luck, I've no trees. Near me to do this to. There you go. So, you click the winch point, you will select the actual uh, area. Now, there's no flipping control for this on the Xbox controller yet, which is a little difficult to do. So you've got to press F. And you see it'll drag you across. And you hit X to snap it off again. Dug myself You see, your vehicles will get dirty and full of mud and stuff as you use them. But uh, when you go through water, it does knock it off again. Again, most vehicles have four-wheel drive, uh, so you can whack that on and off. Um, where was it going? Is that the one that I had? Yeah, it is, yeah. So we'll go back to this truck here. Again, we'll fire up the engine. <laughs> Right, so there's a lot of mud in front of me. So I'll put diff lock on and all wheel drive. I'm using seven, six to seven litres a minute. 
junction's got to do more work. She's getting caked in more now. It's really difficult to get through this. It's not too bad with this, but the little car I'm going to take on the side. The uh, Jeep otherwise. You can hook up to the vehicles, you can tow the trucks out. Uh, the only disappointing thing with night time is, it's not really dark enough. There's no real point to turn your lights on, because as you can see, you can see fairly well around you. If you put your lights on, it lets you see a little bit further in front, but you don't really need that yet. The only reason to have your lights on at night is to see into the water, to fill it. Uh, on here to see what the In here. Now I've found it's definitely easier to cross on this left hand side, uh, this right hand side, sorry. So, leave it on to get across it. Actually, there's my other lorry there just in case I get stuck. Steam coming off the exhaust and everything. Back of the trailer's all wet. Excellent. Really, really nice attention to detail in this game. Now, I'm not that bad at that, so I can just keep going here. Um, trees. If you can flatten trees, depending on the weight of your truck and the size of your lorry. For those of you wondering, there are concrete roads. So uh, I'm over here, so I'm just going to follow this road round to the garage. So as you drive it down on solid surfaces like concrete or grass or whatever, the mud on your tyres will eventually flip off. And then just you know, clean up the tyres. You're going to have to go through the water for a machine to so really clean and wet. So, you know, the details are really, really nice in the game. The controls are pretty good on the Xbox controller. As I say, the, all, the one major problem is the winch. Um, everything else can more or less do from the controller. It's just that winching bit is a real pain in the backside to hit F and then trying to steer and stuff with the other hand to I mean there is there is a spot there to to map it but I just don't let you map it on the controllers yet. I'm hoping soon they'll let you map it on the controller. This is very handy especially this map you can get lost easily. The maps are fairly large, there's a lot of places to explore as I say. Exploring around you'll find a lorry to unlock, especially in the uh, Locked areas. The stones are nice camp you come with the crane, I've already had a, a play with it. between the gears which is really good. Really cool. Yeah, it's not, it's not a bit of damage there. Like, it's not a bridge to be messed with that. Try it again. It's been held. 
I just in casual mode. If a lorry does get stuck or badly damaged, I can recall it back to the garage. If you're in hardcore, you have to send the truck out to fix it. Um, to be honest, I usually try and do it as if you're playing hardcore, but until I get used to all the controls and the handles and stuff, um, I uh, you don't like it casual because you're not using that for petrol. Bang, there we go, and now I have a new garage, which is awesome. So this is basically the same as the wagon over there to his right. Um, and it has the... Utility attachment, I think it's on that one. So look at them up, now I've got two garages I can roll to, which is handy for refueling and damage, etc. Uh, there may be some other vehicles in these cloaked areas down here, I'm not too sure about that. But, um, you know, the more I look around, the more I find out. There are, uh, what is it, one, two, three, five maps, I think there are. All of varying difficulties, varying terrain and stuff. Um, they're going to have, I think, snow maps and things on here, if I'm believing right. Um, so, the potential for this game is very, very high. There's also a multiplayer mode. So if you and a few friends are on, I think you can have to four players. Uh, so if you and a few friends have got it, you can get some of the vehicles, help each other through things. If you're stuck, drag each other out and you know stuff like that, which is really, really cool. Um, it could be interesting to have a play with uh, some friends on here. And see what you can do cooperatively. Uh, but yeah, the, the attention to detail of the mud and the truck sinking in and dragging yourself out and the water. Um, the water does have a flow, so if you get uh, your, say your wee jeep stuck in it, and it's deep enough, it'll wash it away. Um, can be a bit of a pain. But the um, the maps are very, very nice and detailed. And if I go... In fact, I can show you on this one. If I do... Frame with crane support. So, as you see now, I've got a crane on board. And I might be able to show you on these logs here, hopefully. So, you open advanced. Now, with the crane support on, you've got your anchors, so I'm going to extend these arms. Chuck them down. Push them out for the tip over. So as you see, you've got a crane there. You can turn the lights on and off on the crane arm, which is really cool. stuck in there. <laughs> Damn it. So a quick way to do it is restore it because it is really really hard to get up there. Push the anchors up. Cool, bring them in. It's got on the other side of for you just to show you that it can actually do it. Damage the truck if you fall 
have more like that. You don't need to be so. You know, always keep an eye on that. Right, let's see what we can pick up here, shall we? Not easy this length, not easy at all. There we go. So you can you pit rocks up and stuff, so I suppose you can use it for helping build bridges and things like that, you know, just to make things a lot easier for you. You know, that just makes it a bit easy. You pick up uh, some fallen logs that are around, or rocks and stuff, to help shore up certain areas so you can get through it easier, or you know, your larger trucks can get through. As you see, you truck, you truck the rock around. There's lots of handy little things you can do with these lorries. Just probably a bad boy up here. Probably need them at some point anyways. So, there you have it guys. The settings, as you see with the controls, you can customise the keyboard. But as yet, you can't customise the uh, gamepad. Bit of a bummer, but... I'm sure they're working on it. Um, settings wise, I've got everything as high as I possibly can. Um, and it looks really, really nice. So I'm hoping it might add some more stuff in eventually, a bit more uh, effects and graphics and detail. I don't know why I keep going low light. Uh, you know, hopefully it'll add more and more bits as they go along, so it's a very early game, one that came out a couple of days ago, but it does look amazing. So guys, don't you look at spin tires, hope you enjoyed it, um, I'm probably going to do some streams of this, because it is actually quite a good game to stream, watching people struggle, like me, uh, through the forest and things like that, and uh, keep an eye out for some more videos. So thanks for watching guys, uh, give us a thumbs up, if you like the video, any comments, chuck them down below. Have a look around the channel, see what the videos that there are that you might watch and like. And give them a thumbs up. Subscribe so you can keep up to date with all the videos that come out. And also, have a look at the other channels that I've got. I have a Facebook page for this channel, Twitter, and my streaming page are all on uh, YouTube to link. Uh, so again, thanks for watching, guys. See you all soon.